Oh my god. You guys. Okay, so I am back from my trip. I got back Sunday night, late Sunday night. I'm filming this Monday and I've just been so anxious since Wednesday night. <laughs> I've been wanting to film this so badly. As you can see from the title, yes, Booth World Industries did call me. They called me, Brittany Crab. They called me. They called me back. So I guess I'll just get right on into it because this is just insane to me. Okay, so Wednesday, March the 16th. I spent the whole day at the Harry Potter studios and I had the time of my life. It was a dream come true. I will have a video all about it. This Friday, I vlogged like the whole thing. I went crazy. If you followed me on Instagram, I also shared some of the videos from Instagram on Facebook and my Twitter, but follow me at Brittany 44 I'm always on Instagram and I uploaded so many videos of my Harry Potter experience. So I got back to my hotel that night and that's when I started uploading all my Harry Potter stuff. Like I went crazy, if you guys remember. I was like uploading like one video like every 10 minutes. I was just so excited and I just had to get it all out there and show you guys how excited I was. I had so much fun uploading all those videos and pictures. Hope you guys enjoyed that so when I was in London the time there is four to five hours ahead of the time here in Toronto so I was still in the eastern time zone when I was away so it was midnight and I was still wide awake because I was still you know stuck in Eastern time and yeah so I didn't go to sleep <laughs> I was looking at all my Harry Potter stuff you know replying to you guys on Instagram and like retweeting you guys on Twitter and all that stuff and just reading comments on YouTube then I decided to go to the bathroom and take off my makeup and wash my face and stuff so I put my phone down so my phone starts ringing and I'm just like you know taking off my makeup like who the heck is calling me at 12 30 in the morning you know what I mean I look over at my phone and I'm just like what the heck and then I go back and then I'm like oh my god the area code is 630 and it just like it hit me so I'm staring I'm like no that can't be it no no way and I just keep looking at my phone ringing and then all of a sudden it stops ringing so it just kind of happened so fast and I was so shocked so I'm like that that couldn't have been it no 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 so then I look up the number because I don't know it off by heart what was that <laughs> freaking myself out oh by the way here's my Tom Riddle phone case Tom Riddle's diary Woo! I love it so much so I'm actually gonna show you proof that they called me because some people may be like, well, prove it to us that they called you. And I will show you. I will show you my missed calls. Okay, you guys. So, i got to focus this. What the heck? Okay. Focus. See? This is my recent missed call. March 16th, 2016. The number is 630-296-7536, which is the number of Booth World Industries. And then it says... Oh, focus. Sorry. Then it says 8.35 p.m., which is, you know, Eastern time. But for me, it was... Sorry, it's not focusing. It was 12.35 a.m. So that is proof that they did call me. I was waiting for them to leave me a voicemail and I just kept staring and staring and staring at my phone. But I never got a voicemail. And I was just like, oh my God, it was the right number. I kept looking at, oh, I was on Google looking up the number and stuff because I, I don't know it off by heart. And I'm just like, holy crap. I'm like, 630, yes, 296, yes, 7536. Oh my god, Booth World Industries just called me. But then I was mad because I never answered it. But they totally caught me off guard. I was not expecting them to ever call me back. I'm really mad that I didn't answer the phone. But at the same time, guys, I was absolutely terrified. I was Googling stuff like, is Booth World Industries real? Is it fake? <laughs> know it's fake but there's a part of me that's kind of like oh my god like what if it's actually real you know what I mean so I was googling you know is it real is it fake am I gonna die are they coming after me who are they I was going crazy so I, I was in the bathroom I was sitting on the bathroom floor just thinking and kind of taking deep breaths and being like it's okay Brittany you know and I kept saying you know are they gonna come to London are they following me here did I just join the Illuminati honestly like it was I was terrified and it's all I could think about but I'm happy that they called me the night of Harry Potter because if this was the night before I was going to the Harry Potter studios I would have been so mad because it would have ruined my whole time because the next day it's all I was thinking about it's all I was thinking about I was absolutely terrified I kept thinking that they were in London and they were following me around and as I'm walking down the streets of London you know people are looking at me and I'm like are you part of Booth World Industries like I was <laughs> 
I was freaking out. Then the next day, I was, you know, I was going to Stonehenge. I went to Windsor Castle, where the Queen lives on her weekends. And it was really exciting, but at the same time, like, Booth World Industries, their phone call was at the back of my head, and I was freaking myself out. I was really freaking myself out. I was thinking, oh my god, did somebody make an appointment for me to be remodeled? If I answer the phone, were they going to say, girl, you know, we're going to remodel you tomorrow at 2 p.m.? <laughs> and you guys know, remodeling does not mean remodeling. It means, like, killing. So, it kind of reminds me of a hitman. Booth World Industries calling them, and you want them to kill somebody for you. So I was freaking, guys, I was so scared. And at first, as soon as they called me and I was doing all my research, is it fake, is it real, you know, am I gonna die? I was in the middle of tweeting and out to you guys being like, Booth World Industries just legit called my phone. But then I backspaced it and deleted it all. I really wanted to tell you guys right then, but I knew that you'd be asking me like what happened and I didn't want to just type it out what happened. I wanted to actually film a video and tell you guys exactly what happened. So when I uploaded my white kimono, like that scary ritual game on the Friday, because I filmed those videos a while back, hence why I didn't have my Tom Riddle phone case in those videos. But um, so in my white kimono video, I filmed Booth World Industries the same night. I filmed it before I filmed the white kimono. By the way, I did not have the dream of the creepy girl in my dreams. I did not see her at all. But in that video, I mentioned Booth World Industries saying that I just filmed that video and I was scared. Are they going to call me? And then my phone went off. It was a text message. But I was like, oh my god, it's a Booth World Industries. So they, that's kind of what started all again. And everyone was like, oh my god, like, did they ever call you and stuff? So I just decided to tweet out. Where is my tweet? I'm going to go to my tweet right now. So I found the tweet that I wrote to you guys on Twitter. I said, you guys keep asking me and I was going to keep this to myself till I got home, dot dot dot, so dramatic, but dot dot, Booth World Industries did call me back Wednesday night. I got 64 favorites and 8 retweets. Oh my god, you guys are like, what? Oh my god, freaking out. So I kind of just wanted to let you guys know that and then I was telling people I'm filming a video when I get home because I just, I need to sit down and explain this to you. The next day, I received a text message from Booth World Industries. This is after my tweet. And I will show you guys right now. So right here is the text message that they sent me Saturday at 9.56 a.m. And they texted me that number. I have no idea what that number is. All right, so I'm gonna tell you guys my theory on this. So. I mentioned this in my original Booth World Industries video, which was like a week ago. I will link it below if you have not seen it yet, me actually calling the number. It's really freaky. The person that made up this creepypasta, I read in an interview somewhere that they said that sometimes they will call people back to just hear their reactions. But it's a man, I believe, who made up this creepypasta. So this is what I think. I can be totally wrong, but this is what I think. Because it kind of makes sense when I'm about to say it. I believe this person behind Booth World Industries looked it up on YouTube to see any more recent videos of people calling the number and freaking out over it. I think he or they came across my video, they watched it, they thought that I had really crazy, genuine reactions, scary reactions, and I think they wanted to call me to get a good laugh. I really do. Now, I'm not saying they're mean. <laughs> To do that because I'm the one that put myself in this situation. I called the number, leaving a message asking them to call me back. But I think that they watched my video, they saw I was freaked out, and I think they wanted to call me and freak me out even more because I guess they thought I was gonna whip out my camera, which I didn't because I was frozen, totally caught off guard. I was not expecting these guys to call me at all or this man to call me. I don't know who it is. So that is what I think. I think that they watched me and then when I tweeted what I tweeted out to you guys I think they saw that on Twitter so they texted me the next day this number so 81 or 801 820 I don't know what number that is but I just think it's so creepy that they texted me this number and I don't know whose number it is and I don't want to call it because I don't know who's on the other line and it freaks me out because when Booth World Industries did call me and I picked up, like, who would I be talking to? Would it be that Samantha girl? Like, it honestly, it freaks me out. But Booth World Industries, if you guys are watching, you got me. You got me. You freaked me out. Yes, you win. <laughs> you got me. But if you can call me again, 
then I'd be kind of good because I want to film it for my subscribers. But I'm actually kind of scared too. And now I know that just putting that out there, if they're watching, they're probably laughing right now at me being like, oh my god, this girl is crazy. But you guys, you got me. I admit, I'm not gonna lie, you got me. You freaked me out big time. <laughs> so anyways guys, that is the end of my story. I was so anxious to film this video because I just wanted to tell you guys, especially when they first called me, like I I thought I was gonna die. So and that's why I kept, you know, on Thursday too, I was uploading a lot of um, pictures and stuff and it was kind of, a part of me was like, well, you know, I want my viewers to see all this in case I do die. I know that's so ridiculous to say, but I just kept putting stuff out there just in case, like, I don't know, I didn't know somebody was going to come and kill me or something, like a hitman. I don't know, honestly. It really freaked me out and I was scared. I was really scared, but it worked. Like, you got me. Like I said, you got me. <laughs> My Harry Potter Studios video will be up this Friday. I'm super excited. I haven't even started editing it yet, but I'm going to, and I'm really excited. I'm going to show you everything I bought, I filmed, I vlogged there. I'm just going to talk to you guys about it and stuff, and I'm really excited. I know it has nothing to do with the paranormal, but you guys know Harry Potter is a huge part of my life, and I was it was a dream come true coming to the studios. It just, ugh. Seeing everything in the movie, it was amazing, and I, I died. I died that day. I really died. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching once again. You guys rock my world in the song lyrics of Michael Jackson. All of my links are right down there in the description box below. So if you want to follow me, because that'd be awesome. <laughs> hashtag team, Brittany44. Hashtag Barilla Runs. Hey! Hashtag GAC Notice Brittany. And I will see you guys in my Harry Potter Studios video. Ah, I'm so excited to show you. I had the time of my life. I'm of my life, guys. I'll see you guys then. <laughs> Bye.